Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to cut the middle out of a song. Um, I'm also going to make some videos on how to fade out the ending of a song or how to edit two songs together or maybe even how to take bad words out of a song. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is open iTunes and find the song that you want to edit. I'm going to edit a song that a student asked me to edit for her. And I'm just going to drag it to the desktop. You don't have to do this, but I find it easier and locating the song in GarageBand. So now that that's done, I'm going to open up GarageBand and well, click over here. And this little screen will pop up. Now I don't know which version of GarageBand I have. Um, hopefully it's not a very old version so that yours will look the same. I am using a MacBook Pro. So I'm going to double click on Empty Project. And I'm going to wait for that to load. And then this lovely screen will come up. I'm going to double click on the piano. And then I'm going to just close out of this piano. We won't need that. I'm going to go up here to this little iTunes button and click on that so that I can get rid of this big chunky area over here. And then I'm going to go ahead and drag this side over once my computer catches up with me drag it over so I have a little more space to work with. So this is where you can locate your song in GarageBand using iTunes. Um, sometimes it doesn't work for me, like if I most, like if I recently uploaded a song, it won't find it. So I'm just going to drag this over a little bit so I can grab the song from my desktop. And I'm just going to drag it over and make sure the little green plus sign shows up. That means you're, you can drop the song there. And I'm going to let it go and then drag this back over. Okay, so now that I have the song in iTunes, I'm going to make sure it plays, so I'm going to hit enter so it goes to the beginning of the song, and then hit the space bar to start playing it. Sounds like it's working. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little scissors button up here to have the little editing area pop up down here. Um, you have to click on the song in order to see it below. So this is where you'll actually make the edits. Um, and then I'm going to go up here to where it says, what does it say, display mode or something, if it would work. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to select time. So now what you'll see on the top up here instead of just numbers, okay, come on. What you'll see up here is the seconds. So you can zoom in if you use your pointer and middle finger and you tap on this trackpad and then you separate your fingers. You can zoom in to see it in more detail or you can zoom out and make it smaller and find the place that you like to go. Um, so I'm just going to start it again. And then what I'm going to do is fast forward, scroll over to the place that you want to edit out. So she told me she wanted it to be cut between 218 and 248. So I'm going to click a little before 218 and just listen to what it sounds like because I've never heard this song before. So she made it pretty easy for me actually because 218 is pretty much silence. So what I'm going to do since this is the part I want to keep over here, I'm going to let it play a little bit past where I want to cut it and then make the cut so that when I put the two pieces together, there won't be anything missing in the music. And I'm going to cut it right about there. So now what you'll do is go down below to the little editing tool. Make sure your um, cursor is on the lower half of it. Instead of up here, you'll see how it just looks like a mouse up here. And down below, you get the little plus sign. I don't know what that is. You're going to scroll over a little bit, just a little section, and just hit delete. So we got rid of that, so let's hear what it sounds like now. So now we have that broken section there. So now I'm going to scroll over to where I want the music to come back in, which is roughly 248, so I'm just going to listen to it first. So she probably wants it to come back in where it says, we're in over our heads. So I'm going to let it play, and I'm going to cut a little section out before the wearing over our head starts. Right about there, just so that when you put them together it sounds right. I'm going to take a little section down from here, hit delete again, 
So now I have this middle section that I don't need, so I tap on that and just delete it. So from here, what you have to do is create another track. And the reason I'm doing this is so that I can fade the first track into the second track. If you just kind of drag this over, it won't sound right. So I'm going to go up here to where it says track, and I'm going to hit new track with duplicate settings. Now, for some reason, GarageBand likes to put the new track up here, but when I try to drag the song up there, it doesn't let me. So I'm going to actually hit Command-Z, which is just undo, so that it goes back. And I'm going to try it a second time, and for some reason, the second time, it puts the new track down below, which is where I want it. So, I don't know. I'm going to drag this section over towards the first one on this lower track. So see how I can kind of overlap them? That's why I need the new track. So. This is obviously going to sound really rough, but let's just listen to what it sounds like. Yeah, so that's not good yet. Um, we're going to have to drag it over a little bit more. Um, to make your fade or your cuts sound really nicely, you want to fade them together so that it's less noticeable that you cut the music. Um, so what I'm going to do is click on this little squiggly line with two dots right here, and that's what shows me the volume level. So for this first track, I want to fade out the ending of it, and then for this track, I want to fade it in so that you can't really notice it. Um, I'm going to click right about where I want it to cut, and then make another click next to that, and drag that section down so that I have this fade out. And I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom, except I'm going to drag it down on the other side. So this is probably not correct yet, but we'll just listen. So as you can hear, if you're counting the music, this music, I would count it in eights because I'm a dance teacher. Um, but you don't want the song to go five, six, seven, eight, one, two, one. You want it to go five, six, seven, eight, one. So I'm going to drag this section over a little bit more, which I probably have to move my volume over a little bit as well. You can play with the volume really as much as you'd like to. You can make your fade in really slow. You can make it really fast. Um, I'm going to see what this sounds like. So it's still not quite right, as you can hear. There's some extra counts in there. I'm going to drag it over a lot more. Fix this fade. And I'm actually going to drag this fade over a little bit, too. This is really where you just have to play with it and see. bit closer but still needs to be a little bit more. I actually want this fade in to be a little slower and this one to be a little slower. You can also zoom in more if you want to see like in more detail. Sometimes it messes me up to go that close but we're gonna just try this. So that we're in needs to be coming in sooner so I'm gonna drag it even more. That was closer, not quite, but getting there. I'm going to drag this over a little bit more. Just drag this track over a little bit more. See what it sounds like. Okay, that was closer. It still sounds a little bit late. I'm going to drag it just a little bit more. And I want this fade in to come in sooner because it sounds funny when it's just an abrupt change when we had this silence right here. So I'm going to have it fade in. There we go. That's a little better. So this part I can probably fade out quicker because I don't want whatever this music is to be heard over this music. So I'm going to listen to it one more time. There we go. So now what we have is, if you count it, it makes sense. It goes to 8 and starts again at 1. Um, so that's a nice little fade into another section of the song. If you wanted to, you could go over and fade out the ending of your song by doing the same thing. You could click, let's say you wanted to fade it here. If you wanted it to be a long, slow fade, you could drag it down on this, like, way over here. Or you could do it closer to, you know, where you wanted to start fading if you want it to be a quicker fade. So that's pretty much how to edit, you know, the middle out of a song. Um, so now what I'm going to do after I'm done with that is I'm going to come up here to where it says share. I'm going to click on that and I'm just going to send the song to iTunes. So what it'll do is have you name it. So the song is called Die Trying. So I'm just going to put Die Trying Cut. And I'm going to hit share. 
and it'll do its thing. And then what it'll do is automatically pull up iTunes so you can hear what it sounds like. And sometimes when I listen to it in iTunes, it sounds kind of rough and I go back and I fix it again. Um, but let's just see once this is done what it sounds like. So it makes a little playlist for you called GarageBand. So here's the song. Let's fast forward to where we wanted it to come. And there you have it, a nice little fade in the middle. All right, so now what I'm going to do, you can save it if you'd like to. I'm going to just save my changes just in case I have to go back and edit it later. So this is actually saving in GarageBand. And hit save. And that is pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more fun videos. And I'll see you later.